Hey everybody, how you doing? This is episode 33 of Dan's Expert Tips for Authors, Publishers, and Speakers who want to make some money. Uh, my name is Dan Blanchard. I'm the best-selling award-winning author, speaker, and educator, as well as the Connecticut president for the uh, Association of Publishers for Special Sales and the co-host of Mindalia TV. Today I want to talk to you about using emails. Do you know using email, you can actually build your tribe? Yep, you cultivate that list, you build that tribe, you build relationships, and a lot of good things can happen for you. And the great thing is, you don't need a lot. You know, some people think, oh, 10,000 people, whatever. No, you don't need that. Matter of fact, most email services will charge you a monthly fee if you have over 2,000 people. And that's kind of a waste of money. If you get a whole, like, thousands and thousands of people, and most of them are just not engaged, and you're paying for people that are not engaged. Now, I try to keep my list actually under 2,000, so I don't have to pay anything for it, and I just try to keep those people super engaged, and the ones that aren't engaged, if I'm sending them stuff, and they aren't engaged, or they don't want to be on my list, and they, you know, opt out, and all that stuff, and I'm like, good, get off the list, and make room for somebody who wanted, wants to be on it, and wants to be engaged, because those are my people, that's my tribe, you know what I'm saying, so, and I, I think back, like, the old days, before I had this, I remember I used to try to like e manually email people to broadcast like, you know, a new book coming out or whatever it might be. And I remember it took me forever to do that. So I'm so um, fortunate and so happy and so grateful now that I've got like this email sof software, tons of it out there. I use MailChimp, but that's, uh, you know, like Aweber, Contact One, whatever it's called. There's a whole bunch of them out there that just make it, you just put the email together and boom, it, click the button, boom, it's out there. It's so easy now, guys. We all should be using it. Okay, because this sort of thing makes your contact more repetitious with people and helps you build that relationship. They see your name and face more often. You got your relationships, engagement with them. Okay, but make sure that you're always giving value first before you ask for something. Uh, send them stuff that helps them with their lives, quality stuff that makes a difference, a positive difference in their lives. Okay. Um, Lots of different ways you can send that information, that quality, you know, free content, um, whatever you do. I mean, one of the things I do is I blog. You know, I do blog posts. Matter of fact, I'm even speaking at a virtual summit this weekend at uh, Marco Birdie's virtual summit as a blog expert. So uh, blogging is just one way, but there's lots and lots of ways you can send your people uh, quality information, quality content that will make their lives better. And make sure you respond to people when they um, reach out to you. Uh, you want to keep that engagement, okay? But don't be checking your email all day long. I mean, maybe do it twice a day, like every 12 hours. Maybe check it in the morning for like a half hour, check it at night for like another half hour, and then be done with it. I mean, don't be looking at your email all day long because you could be doing other things that are better than checking your email all day long. And be careful of what you promote. Once people know you have a list, they're going to be reaching out to you and saying, hey, can you promote this to your email list? Some of them, we even offer you money, but you don't want to take their money and just promote anything. Don't do it. Respect your audience. Figure out, will this help my audience? If it will, then cool. If it won't, don't do it. Even if they're offering you a lot of money to do it. Respect your audience and they'll respect you. You know, have that, you know, do your part of that relationship with them and they're doing their part of that relationship with you and they will promote you and help you all over the place do better and do more of the good you're trying to do. So anyways, um, I'm hoping this episode of using email was helpful to you. I'm going to be back real soon to talk to you about episode 34. But in the meantime, be sure to check me out at danplatcher.net or granddaddysecrets.com. You take care. See you real soon.